Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 18 of the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Let's Play. Here we are back in our world and you may notice I look a little bit different. So a quick recap from last episode, thankfully we successfully got ourselves an Elytra. But the cost of that Elytra was the fact that right before we got it, we fell in the void, losing all of our netherite armor, tools, and weapons, which really sucks, so I don't know if it was quite worth it for the, the Elytra, but we have it. I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work to get myself some XP so we can enchant some new armor, um, but it's not going to be that bad because I have tons of diamonds. All I need to do is enchant some armor. I can just go, honestly, quartz mining or I have a few XP farms, and we also have literally a few stacks of diamonds, so we will definitely be fine getting our armor back. I already have a decent amount of armor. This is all armor I've gotten just from a few other end city chests or just random armor lying around. So we're already pretty stacked again. I mean, some decent armor and weapons, nothing too good, but it's better than having nothing. And like I said, it's kind of worth it because we got ourselves the Elytra. Now to fly really far and high and crazy with an Elytra, you need these firework rockets. And to make a firework, you need two ingredients gunpowder and paper now thankfully we already have tons of gunpowder because we have this awesome afk automatic gunpowder slash creeper farm here which if i go afk for a few hours it gets me tons of gunpowder it's really good and this is even a relatively small farm this design i could keep scaling up making taller giving me way more gunpowder which i might do in the future but the second ingredient we need paper uh, I don't have a lot of. I do have some sugarcane and I have a little bit of paper in my chests uh, just from making books and whatnot. However, I think it would be really nice if we made ourselves an AFK automatic sugarcane farm because it's really simple to use. The way I'll be doing this is actually making one simple small sugarcane farm design and just building it up really high. So that'll be what I'll do. In a second, I'll show you guys the ingredients and materials you'll need to make this. Let me just store a few of my items in this chest. I'll keep my elytra on me. Um, and let's bring like one stack of fireworks and you know to craft the firework it's super simple just paper gunpowder boom and with such a small amount of gunpowder and paper you can make a ton of rockets which is why I'm not too concerned about making a giant gunpowder farm or a super large sugarcane farm however I am gonna make a relatively large sugarcane farm just because it's pretty fun it's pretty easy and it yields you lots of sugarcane which you can use for sugar paper or if you just want sugarcane so it has lots of really good uses so let's get right into it hello this is Jay Wisp at the end of the video uh, I just want to mention really quickly before I go further into the video that I recently joined a new Minecraft tournament called Oasis events Oasis MC I'll link the Twitter down below you should definitely check it out if you're a content creator yourself and you also want to get involved in this event definitely check it out and message the people involved it's really cool and I'll be doing this tournament in about a month just thought I'd mention it Alright, so in this chest in front of me is everything you'll need to make this. Now, I have 25 of all of these ingredients simply because I'll be making 5 layers. All of these you'll only need 5 to start off with, so 5 dirt or sand if you're only making one layer, but use dirt if you're making multiple layers because obviously sand is affected by gravity, sugarcane, pistons, observers, redstone dust, uh, you'll need some hoppers with some chests, some building block of your choice, and I'm also getting some glass just because I like to have glass. You don't need to use the glass. I just, again, I like it because you can actually see the farm. You can see what's going on, and it looks relatively nice. So let me grab all of our materials here, just some of each in my inventory, and it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is let's just start off with our dirt, and I'm going to place one, two, three, four, five. And then what we're going to do is grab our building block, and I'm just going to make a little area that we can keep the water contained in to make sure that the water does not get out. And then if I go grab my buckets really fast, we have to fill up this little back part with water. The reason you need water, obviously, because sugarcane won't grow on a block unless there's water touching it, whether it's sand or dirt. And there's also this common myth in the Minecraft community that some people believe so, like, hardcore, I don't know where it came from, that sugarcane grows faster on sand. Uh, that's not true. I don't know where that came from or why people, you know, believe that, but I don't know, that's just a fun thing. So next what we're going to do is right above the water, place a layer of your building block. I'm using stone brick just like this and then facing right over here, grab our pistons and then we're going to place them along like this. The pistons obviously are going to shove the sugar cane after it grows. And then what we're going to do is we have to build up a little bit on top of the pistons 
place our observers. And again, it's pretty simple redstone. Oh, I placed them the wrong way. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard to get observers because redstone is so sensitive to the way you push them. But pretty much the sugarcane is going to grow and then the observers will see that the sugarcane is growing and it will hit it. How, which way do I have to place it? I have to place it so the little face is front. There we go. Okay, I did it. So, oh, I'm so bad with redstone, but I just know how to build this because I've built this design so many times. So there you go. Again, the sugarcane will grow up and uh, we can even place the sugarcane now if you want. And so once the sugarcane gets high enough, the observer will push it. But to finish off this redstone, we have to put a layer of our blocks right behind the pistons. And then on top of there, we need to place some redstone. This will fully activate all of this. So I'll show it in action really fast, you know. All that happens is the sugarcane grows and the observer pushes it. Now to collect our drops, let's make a little thing right in front of all of this. Just a little area for our chest and our chest can be right here. I'll have like a double chest for now just to kind of have this working. But you can just get on top of your sugarcane and make sure you place all of the hoppers going into one another. And after you've done that, that's pretty much this design. Obviously, you can encase it in glass, uh, you know, encase it in stone brick, whatever block you want. Obviously, make it look pretty. But this is it. It's pretty simple. You could just leave it like this and AFK for a while and you'll get a decent amount of sugarcane. Um, but obviously, you might want to do it, you know, a little more justice, make it a little bigger, make it a little prettier, uh, just so it works better. But again, it's a very simple design, fairly cheap. I mean, pistons and observers aren't that expensive, only a few pieces of redstone. It's super easy to make. So what I'm gonna do now is just take some of our glass and some of our stone brick and kind of encase this a little bit, just to make it a little prettier, cause it's, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit of an ugly design right now. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, do this good old, build it all the way up with stone brick. This area of my village, or, I guess my world, it's not really my village, is meant to be my sort of industrial farm area. What I want to do with this is this is where I put all of my farms and stuff. The only mistake I might be doing is all my farms might be too close to my village, and maybe once I have a lot of farms, it'll cause a little bit of lag, but that shouldn't happen unless I literally have tons and tons of farms. So we have this, and then what I'm going to do is just place some blocks like that, and then where should I put the glass? I think I'll put the glass on this layer like that and then you can still open chests with glass on top of it so we don't have to worry about that and then the glass will just be here the reason i'm putting the glass out so far uh, is because i want the sugar cane from multiple levels to be able to come down oh okay is my rain oh my weather is off all right well let's build through this rain really fast finish building this little design i'm just gonna keep putting uh, stone bricks here. I'm just using stone brick for now for the entirety of this build I might go back and switch it to some other block later or towards the end of the video um, But for now, oh, this is all I want to use. Oh, am I really stuck? Damn, all right, let's just break out. I have a lot of glass and chests at home. It's not that bad So there we go. That's pretty much the design and all you have to do is really build up that little bottom area up some more And it's pretty simple So I'll show you how to get started with that and then I'll do it myself off camera Just take some dirt like that Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to have water again. So let's get our stone brick. Make a little outline area so that the water stays contained. Just like that. And then we can place the water in there. Uh, where did I put my buckets? Are they in the chest? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, the thunderstorm. That's not fun. I'm just trying to build through it. I don't want to go to sleep right now. We can place our water really fast. Get a little bit more water. This zombie's trying to fight us. What do you want to do? Come on. <laughs> let's get him. Ooh. All right, there we go. Let's build up here a little bit. Just build up again. I don't care. Uh, and then get our one more water bucket. All right, there we go. So again, it's pretty simple. You just keep doing this design up and up. It's honestly really simple. I'll place another layer of sugarcane really fast just so it can start growing. On top of the water, another layer of our block, and then some more pistons, some more observers, and it's pretty simple. So honestly, I have enough materials for about five layers here. I might do more, I might not do all five. It just depends on how large this whole farm ends up being. I'm hoping that it's not that large, um, but we'll see. So we have that, get our blocks, go behind the pistons, just like that, and then we have to come back up with our redstone. There we go. And actually, I don't know why I brought so many hoppers, because we only need that layer of hoppers. You can build the farm up as tall as you want, but you don't really need that many hoppers. So, 
I don't know, I guess I didn't really need to do that. And then I'll build up with the stone brick here a little bit just to encase it a little bit, make it look a little prettier to, you know, kind of hide the redstone a little bit. I think the redstone's kind of ugly, so <laughs> I try to hide it as much as I can. Let's go up one more layer. And then I have this back area. Oh, I need more stone brick. Damn, we can grab it. But you guys should get the general idea for now. It's pretty simple. I think it'll look pretty good uh, depending on any way you put it. Even if you don't encase it with all these blocks like this to make it look pretty. Uh, you know, it should still work. But I do recommend encasing it somewhat in blocks just so it kind of keeps the redstone as safe and sound as possible. Uh, making sure nothing harms it, blows it up, and also making sure that all your drops do fall in the correct area. So there we go. We got two layers done. We're making good progress. Let's mine all these blocks and see how two layers of this farm looks. I think it should look pretty good. And I'll eventually, at the end of the video, AFK around here and we'll see how much sugar can I get. Yeah, but there we go. It's already looking pretty good. Not much sugar cane has grown, but it's pretty nice. Uh, if you really want, you can wait for the dirt to get grass to spread on it just so it looks a little nicer, but I'm not too worried about this. So I'm going to build this up three more layers, and I'll be right back with you guys once I've done that. All right, so here we are with the ginormous automatic AFK sugarcane farm with all five layers, and it's pretty, it's going pretty good. I think it looks fairly decent. I extended the glass a bit more. I actually had to go to my uh, chest room, grab some more glass stone brick, but uh, I definitely think it's going to be worth it getting a lot of sugarcane. What I'll do is I'll AFK for a while, see how much sugarcane I'll get. It'll definitely probably be enough, even just making this, I've gotten a decent amount of sugarcane. But uh, I might extend this a little more just to make it look a little more impressive. You know, the bigger the farms in your world, uh, the more impressed your friends look when they see the world. Not that it really matters because I'm kind of just by myself. But if you wanted, you could have only done one layer. Or if your heart truly desires, you could build layers all the way down from bedrock all the way up to the build limit and not just do this. You could do it seven blocks. You could do it nine. You could do it 11. I did five. My only uh, issue with doing five is, as you see here, it's not quite symmetrical in terms of the uh, the chests, which is quite a bummer. Oh, I'll have to place the slabs up there because I can't open this chest. But I made a little hopper contraption that uh, kind of puts them in here and just kind of covers the chests. Because if the chests aren't covered, it looks a little weird since this is five blocks and the chest is two blocks. But it's not a big deal. If you really wanted to, I guess you could have made this six blocks. I just make five because it's, it's pretty standard. I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty standard number, easy to follow. But overall, I think this farm it definitely looks really good. Let's kind of get a nice little view up here, go from afar. As you see, yeah, this farm towers everything else. We have the iron farm here, which is a relatively small iron farm, actually. It might make a big, bigger one later. But right here, we have the creeper farm and the sugarcane farm. So what I could actually do is if I go like somewhere around here in this far tree area, uh, I can actually, I need to be quite far away for the creepers to spawn because they won't spawn if you're right next to them. You need to be a few chunks away. But if I'm over here, the creepers will spawn and we are still in loading distance of the sugarcane. So the sugarcane farm will still work. But I'll probably also just make an AFK pool like right next to the sugarcane farm just so it's there. I was kind of worried earlier, I was saying how I was worried that if I have too many farms it might cause lag. However, if my farms are close to my village, that's a good thing because it means that they are always loaded in, which means when I'm just doing random stuff around the village, random build projects or whatnot, uh, my farms are always working. So I think that's a really cool thing. If we get on top of the farm here, we can check it out really fast. I added just one little glass layer here so it got some sunlight. Uh, you know, just to breathe a little bit. If you're super worried about light, you could place some torches around here. Or I have these two little pillars in the back. I'm actually thinking I might fill them up with shroom lights or glowstone. I think that'll look really nice. But yeah, overall, this is pretty good. But I still have more materials. I have a lot more materials to make observers. I can make pistons. I have, obviously, a lot more sugarcane now. Dirt's pretty easy to get. Hopper, hoppers aren't too hard to get. All of the resources for this are pretty easy. And I have a lot of them. So I think what I might do towards the end of the episode or just in my free time or if you notice a difference in the thumbnail I might extend this make it taller I might go down some blocks or what you could also do is you know if you really wanted to make these in a square around you you could put one right here and then maybe one right here or here you know put it all around you and if you really wanted to make a system of water flowing a system of hoppers or a system of minecarts with hoppers to deliver all your items into one single chest. So there we go. If we look at the bottom layers and the lower layers, we see that the sugarcane is uh, growing quite nicely. I've already gotten a decent amount. Also, a lot of this is just some stuff. I noticed there was a few sugarcane like in the distance somewhere, so I picked it up. 
Uh, but yeah, this farm's going pretty good. I think it looks pretty nice. And so I'm good with that. So now that we kind of have this industrialized district underway, there's a few things I want to do with it. Obviously, I want to decorate the creeper farm and the iron farm to make them look a little nicer. The sugarcane farm is nice enough for me. I like it. But I think what we ought to do just to kind of connect these two areas is I think we should build a bridge between the land right here and between the birch forest and also get out some of these birch trees so that we have a clear view of all of our farms from our village. So what I'm gonna do is gather some materials really fast. I have some spruce and oak wood that I gathered and we are going to make ourselves a little bridge just from probably like right here to head over there. Uh, and then we're also gonna clear out some of those birch trees. All right, so for this bridge, I'm gonna give it a very classic look. I'm using oak and uh, some spruce fences as a little bit of a dark contrast, some stone buttons here and there, and normally I've used torches, but I'm going to use lanterns. I, I find that I get very set in my old ways and build styles, so with this series, I'm trying to expand a little bit because all of my builds, even some of the builds in this village, if you notice, look a little bit old. Obviously, I've used some new blocks here and there, but I'm very simple when it comes to building, and even though lanterns aren't that new of a block, uh, I'm trying to use them a lot more as a light source, simply because I want to start expanding my uh, my building palette a little bit. So I'll let, where should we build this bridge? We could build it here. This might be a little too close to that. I think if we build it here, this is a good idea. So let's clear out this area a little bit, get some flowers and some of the grass out of the way. I can always bone meal this area again later. I just, I don't like a lot of grass and flowers around where I'm building. I think it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, so I want to get these out of the way. Plus, it'll be nice. We can use them for uh, decorating later. Later, I have lots of bone meal. So if we make it about right here, I think we could make it probably three blocks wide. So if I place like is this good and then it leads us let me just make sure this area is nice it'll lead us over this little water area and then it'll take us to this place right here yeah i think that'll look pretty good so let's start working on the bridge once it gets closer over there i'll also take down those birch trees so we have these few little logs right here and then i'm just going to do the very simple you know oak slabs building up with the oak slabs like this you know pretty simple design let's do this up a little bit and then how should I do this? Maybe like right here. Hmm. Yeah, right here after the first layer. Let's go up a little bit with this oak. Like that. All right, that'll look nice. And then the fences will be pretty simple. They'll just be like this. Should I leave them in the air or connect them? Nah, connect them. I think it'll look nice. Yeah, pretty simple like that. As for the lanterns, when I build this, I'll just do this on each end. Maybe put them on top of some of the fences. Put them on top of that. And uh, I'm going to build this bridge out a little bit, and we'll check it out. All right, so here's the bridge. Pretty simple, but I think it turned out pretty good. I actually had to make it myself some more lanterns here. Just, you know, use a lot of oak, spruce wood. I made some spruce slabs. Looks nice. Added some more lanterns. And then for the middle, it looked a little bare. So I added some spruce fences with lanterns hanging down. And I think it makes a really nice effect walking through this bridge. It looks really nice, especially if we turn down our FOV. I think this bridge will look especially amazing once we get shaders in 1.16. However, we don't even have Optifine yet. So it'll probably be a while before we get that. Also, as you can see, I uh, chopped down a lot of the birch trees here to kind of make some room i think what i'm going to do is leave the birch forests to the left and right here and then through this little middle passage make a little pathway to lead to this industrial district and uh, eventually what i also want to do is i like the look of this birch forest i don't want to totally destroy the natural biomes and so i think what i might want to do is around this area build some like lumber yard something like that but made out of birch so maybe some tied birch logs on the ground like this with maybe some like rails on top of them you know stuff like that uh just to kind of act like it's like being held down maybe put some villagers that look like lumberjacks stuff like this just random decorations like this around the world i think it'll look really nice just to add some detail that's one thing i haven't really done in this let's play yet i've made a lot of big builds everywhere but i haven't made a lot of detail like in the village i put some flowers and some grass and i made a few pathways here and there but not much the only pathway i've spent a lot of time detailing 
detailing is uh this one right here where i added some rocks some coarse dirt some gravel oh dang they're busy uh some stones and buttons and it looks pretty nice so i think i might do this throughout the village something i also have to add is some custom trees because i don't have any of those so just small detail work like that will probably be done off camera i just like to mention that in case i ever come in the world and forget to say it out loud but yeah, that's going to be all for this video. I just wanted to do uh, give you guys this little build design for this bridge since I did that sugarcane farm, but it was relatively fast. Hopefully both of these could give you some inspiration and guidance in your world. Hopefully you can make a sugarcane farm for yourself, whether you're in survival or a server, and get yourselves tons of sugarcane. Uh, oh, whoa! There was like 30 sugarcane in here, remember? And just after building that bridge, which took like 10 or 15 minutes, we have a stack and a half. So uh, I'm going to leave that in there. Only downside is, I don't know if I mentioned this, occasionally some sugarcane will get stuck. If you really want to, just to kind of prevent that, maybe add a ladder to the side here that you can go up and down and get any potential leftover drops. But yeah, I really hope this helped you out. I also hope you, uh, you know, got some inspiration from the bridge design. I didn't want to give a big tutorial or time lapse, but again, you can always look at this bridge yourself, maybe get some inspiration for your world or even copy the design. Uh, no hard feelings there. Uh, the bridge isn't also, it's not perfectly symmetrical on each side. That side is a little different than this side, as you can see. Um, but it's not a huge difference, you know. It's just because the ground is at two levels. That ground is a little higher. But overall, I actually really like this bridge. I think it looks nice. Sometimes I like to do covered bridges with a roof on top. But this one, I think I pulled it off pretty well with these uh, lanterns and fences. So anyways, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. That's going to be all for today's episode. And as always, if you have any suggestions as to how I can make a build better or any suggestions for future videos, ideas let me know down in the comments below i try to reply to as many comments as possible but anyways this is jay wisp and i will see you guys all in the next video